And more news tonight, a focus on recovery, not logistics. Families coping with serious illness face countless challenges. And for those who live in rural areas, finding a ride to the doctor and doctor's appointments can add an extra layer of stress. Maggie Lowmiller has more on a new transportation service that aims to ease that burden. Can you say hi? Baby Daniel is pure joy, a bright smile, and endless curiosity. But he had rough beginnings and a challenging road ahead. These are only a few of his medicines. Daniel was born without the left side of his heart. That was terrifying. It, it was unbelievable, you know, not knowing what to expect. He spent the first 110 days of his life in a hospital. Since then, Daniel has been back and forth countless times. We were three hours away from Houston, which is his main level, main center of care. And we had, we had to travel from here several times to Houston, braving the Houston traffic, um, making sure Daniel doesn't desat in the car. Thankfully, with the help of Driving Hope of Texas, the trips to medical appointments are easier. I see these people suffering from the, the, the trauma of transportation in the big city. People who live in small towns aren't used to this. Philip Holy believes figuring out transportation should be the last thing on a person's mind when they are dealing with an illness. In the city, you can grab an Uber or Lyft. You can get a taxi. There's other transportation options. The American Cancer Society has been vocal about the challenges of patient transportation. Statistics show that some will even skip treatments when funds are low. They're in the fight of their lives right now, and this is the least we can do to help them. And if, if there's any way we can take a little bit of the edge, the little bit of the stress off of what they're going through, that's very rewarding. The organization hopes to keep rides affordable. Through donations, they can cut costs, and when possible, make it free. So families can focus on recovery, not logistics. He is showing us that not only can he live live, but he can have a good life. And um, he's amazing. He's a miracle from God. In Belton, Maggie Law Miller, Central Texas News Now. Driving Hope of Texas is holding a benefit April 27th at 4 p.m. at the Grove Community Center. For more information on how you can donate, head over to our website, kxxv.com.